y'all are all my friends. I hope you all had a fantastic Thanksgiving. Um, I had a wonderful time with my family. And uh, I'm coming to you today with a thrift haul from Goodwill and Salvation Army. Uh, I have a lot of stuff on my table here, guys. So you might want to, you know, run to the bathroom real quick, grab yourself something to drink, sit down in a comfy chair, and just relax. Um, if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Dee. I am an avid thrifter and reseller. I sell on YouTube, Mercari, and eBay. And I have live sales every Saturday on YouTube at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So thank you so much for stopping by and welcome back to all of my current friends. Glad to see you. All right, you guys. Um, so as I said, I've got a lot here, so I'm going to get right into this thrift haul. Now, um, I'm going to start with this because it's right in front of me and I want to get it out of my way so I don't break it. I got, this is a beautiful lusterware set. Let me show you the teapot first. Okay, that's the back. And there is the front. Isn't that beautiful? And all these pieces are in excellent condition. They have no issues. The only issue I have is I didn't, uh, I couldn't find the creamer. There was no creamer to this set. But we've got the teapot. And then I have the sugar bowl. And I got four uh, snack plates with the cups. So here's your cup. I actually got six cups all together and um, four of the snack plates. And these are hand painted made in Japan. I'm like, oh my God, when do you ever see the snack plates? I was totally in love with these when I saw them. So, yeah, they are absolutely gorgeous. So, we got that set. Then I found a beautiful Syracuse um, China, which is restaurant wear. I found a beautiful creamer with this pretty green pattern and the sugar bowl i have to wash them see there's schmutz on there <laughs> but they're in phenomenal condition guys look at beautiful beautiful i will always buy restaurant wear if it's in excellent condition or at least really good condition and if it has a really nice pattern which I thought this did, so that's why I picked it up. I also got this for myself. It's just a little to-go uh, cup with the, um, the straw and such. So I got that for me. Then I picked up this uh, False Graf Winterberry cup that says cheer. And I just noticed there's a tiny little boo-boo right there on the bottom. I don't know if that's, it may be a manufacturing flaw. Please don't mind my terrible hands and nails I've been crafting. Um, but yeah, I, I always pick up Winterberry when I find it. I also got this very pretty, um, I love mercury glass look i should say this is a real mercury glass but it's you know faux mercury glass uh, i thought this was a beautiful uh votive candle holder so i picked that up very very pretty now somebody unloaded probably 25 cruets 
beautiful cruets, but none of them had their stoppers. But you know what? I bought four of them anyway in hopes that at some point I will find stoppers for them um, because they were gorgeous. Look at this one. I love this paneling here. It just, it's gorgeous. So I got that one. This one I absolutely love. Look at this one. Oh, that's beautiful. And it has that same paneling. Absolutely beautiful. And then I got two of these. They're both the same pattern. Just, I love them. I think they're so beautiful. So I got two of this, this pattern. Here's the other one. And none of them have any chips or anything, so. Oh, I should mention that all of this stuff that I'm showing you from Salvation Army was 50% off. They had, um, the day after Thanksgiving, Black Friday, they had everything in the store 50% off. So, you know I was going to go and check it out. Then I got this. This owl um, wax melt. I have to clean out the old wax in there. But um, it works perfect. I already tried it out. Love him. He's so cool. So, I picked him up. Okay, um, I found, now, it doesn't have the little nozzle thing, but I didn't care. I got this awesome blue Rachel Ray um, olive oil um, container. I love it either way, even just because of the design of it, I love it. So, I did pick that up. There it is, Rachel Ray. So, I got that. I knew when, when I bought it that it was missing the thing, but like I said, I didn't care. Oh, and then I just grabbed this little uh, jewelry box for um, my jewelry when people buy it. I always will pick them up if I find them at a good price. So I got that. All right, then I got this picture frame. Uh, well, the picture, and I, I got it for the frame because I plan on doing going to try and do a really pretty Christmas picture in here. Uh, so that's why I bought it. Uh, so all of this in here will be coming out. But yeah, I love that. I also got this bag of wood, wood, wood pieces for crafting. Um, I got this, um, if I can get it out of the bag. Somebody um, somebody glued this on the bottom for so that it's like a riser. Um, and there's all this glue on here I have to get off. But I figure I can fill those holes or I can just decoupage something on here. I might even be, I might even be able to get this off of here because I would like to make this um, into some kind of a sign or something. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it, but there was like all these little, um, all these little pieces of wood things in here. These are really cool that I figure I can do something with. There's a bell, you know, so I got a bag of wood. <laughs> I got a bag of wood. I got a bag of wood. I know. Whatever. Okay. Then I got these beautiful. Um, looks like it says Hank. Hank something. I got these two beautiful uh, fruit pictures. Love these. These are definitely vintage. Really like them. They're done really well. The back is nice. 
Yeah, Hank Baj or something. Maybe you could tell better on this one. Let me show you this one. Looks like B-A-J or something. I don't know. So I got those. And y'all know I have a problem when it comes to vintage purses. Now, I have to clean them up, but I did get this one. Really great condition. I'm going to list some of these on Mercari, I think. And then I got a pet and leather one. Look at this one, guys. It's got a bow. This one is made by After Five. And there's the... It's an excellent condition, y'all. It even... It smells a little musty when you open it, but yeah, I mean, gee, I, I remember having black patent leather shoes as a kid. I think we all had them at one point. Um, then I got a bunch of um, Taiwan wood ornaments. So I got a bunch of uh, the soldiers. Got these three. This one, I got a little angel. She's an ornament. Well, they're all ornaments. Got a Santa. I like to use these in assemblages when I can. I got this guy. Got the snowman. I got a little sleigh, a little sleigh. <laughs> and I got this. Of course, this is a little large for an assemblage, but I liked it. I thought it was really pretty. There's the sticker. Made in Taiwan. And then I got this awesome uh, little TV tray. Look how pretty. I mean, it's got a little bit of wear, but... What do you expect? It's probably from the 50s. It's got the little, you know, little legs. So I got that. Let me put this under here. Okay. Now, I also bought some clothes for myself. And I don't normally show clothes when I get them because it's boring. I actually got clothes uh, a couple hauls ago from Salvation Army that I didn't show. But I'm going to run through them real quick, guys. All right. So keep in mind, they're all 50% off. So this was $4.99. I got it for $2.50. I just bought myself a bunch of shirts. Um, mostly short sleeve because with the hot flashes, oops, I just dropped my, the hot flashes, I can't wear sweaters and turtlenecks and all that stuff. So this one was $3.99, so two bucks, Old Navy. This was $3.99, two bucks. You had me at, meow, what does that say? Meow? Yeah, you had me at me, meow. <laughs> then I got this one. This one was $2.50. I got this one. This one was $2.00. I just like these long ones to wear with my black leggings. I got this one for $2. I prefer a uh, V-neck to round, round neck. I'm not a big fan of round neck, but I did get some. This one's a Vera Bradley, guys. I paid uh, $3.50. $3.50 for it. 
Oh, and pink tags on this day, everything was 50% off, but pink tags were 49 cents. And I don't think, I think I found one thing with a pink tag. Uh, this one was $2. It's just all about the comfort for me these days, guys. I got another dark navy for $2. This one was brand new. I paid $3.50 for it. This is a long sleeve V-neck from Walmart. Brand new. Uh, $3.50. This one was also brand new. Um, I got this for $3. Um, V-neck. This is brand new. And I got this for um, my cousin Alec and his girl had a baby boy um, a few months ago. And he's like two and a half months old now. But I couldn't pass this up. They live in California. And I could not pass this up. It is this adorable, brand new, 24-month. Um, look at this. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Carter's. Heck yeah. For what? Uh, $4.50? All day. Brand new. So I got that. Then I got this Coca-Cola uh, shirt for myself for 4 bucks. This is another Vera Bradley. I paid $3 for it. This one's a long sleeve. This I got, uh, this was $3.50. This was $3.50. This one was two bucks. I love this one. This is cute. I like the color. And the last one that I paid, I paid, oh no, there's one more. This is the only pink tag clothing item I found. I paid 49 cents for it. So we got that. 49 cents and the last thing I got is this one this one was 250 <coughs> excuse me another long sleeve or three-quarter whatever it is wow so that's all the clothes I got oh my goodness Ugh. oh my god I can't even Whew. <laughs> my hair is tore up today so what did i spend on all of that stuff well look how long my receipt is <laughs> holy shiznit i spent a hundred and seven dollars and one cent. Pretty damn good, don't you think? I think. All right. Now we're going to move on to Goodwill. <sighs> All righty. I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to put stuff, but I'll figure it out. Okay. Let me start off with this little girl. Now, it is a Joseph original, but she is, um, she, she's holding a flower, which the top of the flower did break off, but I didn't care. She's adorable, and I bought her anyway, and I could replace that flower with um, either polymer clay or air dry clay. Um, I could just make a little flower and put it on there, um, but yeah, she's a, a Joseph original. 
So I got her. I'll put her over there. I bought this set. I believe these are silver plated or silver is, is possible. These beautiful candle holders. Um, they would fit, you know, the candles um, that are attached with the wick. There's two of them. Those would be the candles that would fit in here. Um, I, I love them. I think they're beautiful. I would love to polish these, but I'm, I'm not touching them. I'm just going to wash this part. Um, I love them. I think they're beautiful. Show you up close. Look at that patina on there. It's awesome. So I got those. I got this beautiful uh, Lefton Mary Planter, the Virgin Mary Planter. Look at her. Isn't she beautiful? She had these flowers in there, so I just left them in there. Gorgeous. Now, I bought these, even though they're missing the caps, because I know I can find caps to fit these at Fuller's. Look at these beautiful crystal salt and pepper shakers, you guys. Look at, look at that. Look at that polished bottom. They are stunning. And I know I will find some caps for these. Okay. I also got, it was funny because uh, when Scott had his uh, live sale that I was um, moderating, <clears throat> he had picked up. Um, the Anchor Hocking Ruby Red Vases. And I was saying how much I love Anchor Hocking's Ruby Red and Forest Green. So I came across these. They got a pretty little uh, scalloped edge on them. I got two of those. And I got three of these. And they're in perfect condition. No CCFs. So, I was glad to find these. They're, I love them. They're perfect to put out for Christmas, for Valentine's Day, you know. And I also got this, and he had um, this um, pattern and color, and I forgot the name of it, but it's a sherbet. And it's that beautiful, uh, like, a, it's, I forgot the name of the darn pattern. Um, I got this because I thought I could do an assemblage in here. But if somebody would like to buy just this by itself, um, let me know. Um, and I will not use it for an assemblage. I just love it. I think it's so pretty. So I picked that up. And I found this beautiful Japan, uh, look at the, these birds. How beautiful are they? La um, like a dark lilac and pink bellies and it's, there's flowers. And there's no issues with this either. So, bird butt. <laughs> we got the bird butt. So I picked that pretty figurine up. And I also found these two awesome roosters. I know they're Japan made. Um, they are fantastic. And I checked to make sure that none of their feathers were uh, broken and glued back on. They do have a little paint loss on the red because it's cold painted. Um, but they're not marked on the bottom, but I, I'm... They're Japan, trust me. They're fabulous. So I got those. I love this. I do believe it to be Westmoreland. I have one of these vases 
This is a satin finish. Um, I don't know if mine is satin or if it has a glaze on it, but it's the Blackberry, Blackberry pattern. And this is a beautiful, beautiful vase. I remember my mom having one of these vases when I was little. That's why I bought the one I have was because, you know, memories. But yeah, it's gorgeous. I absolutely love it. This is also beautiful. Um, this is Empire England. And it is this beautiful, I'm going to call it um, a nut dish with the gold and the roy uh, royal blue, cobalt blue. And it's got these beautiful paintings in the center of each one. Now, it does have um, a chip on the underside. But nobody is going to see that, you know. I mean, it's beautiful. I love it. Where do you see this teapot, you guys? This is old and crazed, and I love it. I love it. Look at this. This is, um, what does that say? Made in... It's Gloucester, um, Gloucester, Glou Gloucester or something, made in England. It's very hard to see. Look at this teapot. Oh my goodness. It's crazed. It's got discoloration on it. And I love it. Isn't that awesome? Oh my goodness. I love it. Absolutely love it. Oh, I was not passing that by. No way. That to me is just character and age and beauty. Speaking of beauty, OMG. Look at this Empoli snifter. That is tall, guys. That is tall. Look at that. This scares me to ship, but it is absolutely amazing. This will definitely be an offer up. Definitely. Definitely. I was just having flashbacks of Rain Man. <laughs> I'm an excellent driver. I'm going to go to Oak Street and get some boxers at Kmart. <laughs> you know, that was a hell of a movie. I don't know how Dustin Hoffman did that movie without busting out laughing. And I'm not making fun of autism in any way, shape, or form. But to try to act like that and be serious had to be difficult. It had to be difficult. And Tom Cruise, I mean, I just, that was such a fantastic movie. I, I can't say enough about it. So I'm done now. But anyways, look at this. Look at this gorgeous picture. Oh my goodness, this is all raised. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. And let me tell you, I paid up for this. Trust and believe. You guys, I'm, I'm getting so, I'm getting to the point where when I go into Goodwill, I just get extremely upset. Because there are so many beautiful things 
that I would love to buy for you guys, but I can't because I, there's no there's no room for me to make any profit because the prices are insane. And I just get so aggravated when I'm in there. It's like I can't wait to just leave because I get pissed off. But yeah, I did pay up for this. And then I found this. This is Alfred Meekin. Look at this. Look at that little English cottage. O-M-G. Excellent condition. It does have some uh, wear on the gold paint, but it's old. It's old. That's gorgeous. Love that. I found another vintage mirrored vanity tray. <laughs> There's the bottom. It's in fantastic condition. It's got a couple scratches on the mirror. You can see them right there. But yeah, so I got that. I got this. I'm going to I was going to do something with it. This little wood Christmas tree. I was thinking of um maybe decoupaging um on here, you know, to to add some festiveness to it. So I got that. That'll be a little craft project. Project along with this, I got another another um cutting board that I would like to do something with for the holidays. I may do a wall pocket, make it into a wall pocket with uh, beautiful like um, pine sprigs and berries and stuff like that. So I got that. Same thing with this. This is gonna be um, a project. I just bought this recipe box. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's going to be a craft project as well. And, oh my God, wait do you see these pictures. You know how I find the religious pictures, right? This is old. Look at this. First of all, look at the frame. And then it's got foil behind all of the wording and the florals. Here's the back. Now this is this is um coming off. Yeah. I had to grab that. This is, this is stunning. O-M-G. Now, it does have a little damage here, but I can touch that up. Tell me that is not gorgeous. Oh, my word. And it was way up on the top shelf, so I had to get one of the guys to get it down for me. I got this. This is just, um, I got it because I believe I have a brand new frame that this will fit into. Look how beautiful this picture is. And I mean, it's just a print, but it's gorgeous. And I'm pretty sure it's going to fit in that frame. So that's why I bought her. Oh my God, you guys. Tammy from Vintage Uprising, Texas. She 
is going to have a heart attack when she sees what I found. Oh my goodness. In fact, I'm going to take a picture. Oh, I can't. I'll have to do it later. This is Pebble Art at its finest. Look at this. Holy cow. Oh my gosh, you guys. Holy cow. Oh, I could not believe it when I saw it. That is 1960s at its finest. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, and the last thing I found, and of course, there's no cord. I found another one, you guys. Another 1930s coffee pot. It's got its inners, but there's no cord in there. So I am on the search again. For a cord. Um, the cords I have, the, um, the holes are not far enough apart. Which was what happened with the one Scott sent me. I needed one with the holes a little bit farther apart. And I did find, you know, y'all know I, I found the cords at the estate sales. But look at this. So hopefully I will find a cord and not 10 years later. <laughs> know what I'm saying? But yeah, guys, so that is everything I got at Goodwill. I spent $112 and I saved $37.24 with my discount. Oh, they say I'm a walk-in senior. Look, that's what it says down here on my receipt. Walk-in senior. <laughs> I guess it's better than a wheel-in senior. <laughs> so, guys, that'll do it for this thrift haul. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up button. Share my video with other people that you know enjoy thrift hauls and crafts and stuff like that. Don't forget to leave me a comment below. And if you're not a subscriber to my channel, please consider becoming a subscriber. I would really appreciate it. All right, everybody. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.